Dan, they want to bring him back to a hospital here in Monterey. They say that RC is in a near vegetative state right now. And the only way that the Italian hospital will release him is if he's transported on life support, the cost of which is adding a hardship to an already tragic situation. R.C. Schwertfeger was on the trip of a lifetime, a family vacation to celebrate his 43rd wedding anniversary with his wife Mimi. The couple there to see the sights and visit their daughter whose husband is stationed overseas in Italy. Just days before the two were supposed to come home, there was an accident. The family went swimming at a neighborhood pool where R.C., a lifelong swimmer, nearly drowned. And he went in to just do a couple of laps. And uh, I was not near him. My mom got in the pool. She also goes to the sports center all the time. She went to do a, a lap or two, and um, she pulled him from the water. RC's daughter, Marisa, says he was taken to the hospital where they were told irreversible brain damage was done. It's, it's really devastating. It's overwhelming trying to be with him and, and uh, love him and... and care for him and then trying to get him home all the efforts involved in trying to get him home doctors in italy don't have any answers for the family on what may have happened to rc in the pool they're only being allowed to see him for 10 to 20 minutes a day and the italian hospital says they cannot transfer him home unless he's kept on life support they're not allowing him to be taken off a respirator he has to be brought home on a, a charter flight a medevac and we have to raise over $137,000 uh, through GoFundMe. Solomon Terry has known RC since the two were boys. They work out together every day at the Monterey Sports Center and grew up playing ball. RC, a Seaside High School graduate, spent 30 years working as a teacher on the Central Coast. And his wife Mimi has worked for the Catholic Diocese of Monterey for 40 years. Now she's asking the community they've built to help bring her husband home. All friends, family, coworkers, we're just all rallying together to do whatever we can to get the community uh, to aware, just awareness if they need help and they need our help to get home. Italian law is very strict about taking people off of life support, but the family says that's not even an option right now. Their only focus is on bringing their dad and their father, or excuse me, their husband home here to the Central Coast. Dan. All right, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Caitlin. So far, the family has raised $77,000. They need 137 to get him home.